Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. Let your light scatter the darkness and
Let us give thanks to God the Father, always and for everything. In the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, the Shepherd of Israel, their pillar of cloud by day, their pillar of fire by night. In these 40 days, you lead us into the desert of repentance, that in this pilgrimage of prayer, we might learn to be your people once more. In fasting and service, you bring us back to your heart. You open our eyes to your presence in the world, and you free our hands to lead others to the radiant splendor of your mercy. Be with us in these 40 days, for without you we are lost and will perish. To you alone be dominion and glory forever and ever.
Let us pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, you will to make us citizens of your country and singers of your mercy. Do not abandon us in this land of exile, but bring us all to the heavenly Jerusalem, forever chanting your praise through Christ our Lord.
Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us, for we seek you alone. Calm our bodies and minds with the peace which surpasses understanding and make us ever radiant with joy through Christ our Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that our ancestors were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea, and all of them were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. All ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank from a spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was the Christ. Yet God was not pleased with most of them, for they were struck down in the desert. These things happened as examples for us, so that we might not desire evil things as they did. Do not grumble as some of them did and suffered death by the destroyer. These things happened to them as an example, and they have been written down as a warning to us, upon whom the end of the ages has come. Therefore, whoever thinks he is standing secure should take care not to fall. The word of the Lord.
that the Lord in his mercy might show to all the paths of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive and hear our That the Lord in his compassion might bind the wounds of all the afflicted. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive and hear our That the Lord in his great love may shower down peace upon our shattered world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive and hear our That the Lord, through his suffering, might give meaning to all who endure persecution. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive and hear our prayer. That the Lord, through his cross and resurrection, may open our hearts to new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive and hear our That the Lord, who was led by the Spirit into the desert, may lead the elect to the waters of baptism, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive and hear our prayer. That the Lord, in his enduring loving kindness, may save us until the day we see his face. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive and hear our For a Christian end to our lives, and for all who have fallen asleep in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, receive and hear our prayer. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father, Merciful God, you never leave your children forsaken, but constantly reveal to us your name and unfold for us the mystery and purpose of your will. Break through the hardness of our minds and hearts that with the simplicity and trust of children, we may learn to embrace your commandments as the way to fullness of life and love and so come to bear the fruit of true and continuous conversion. 
We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Just one announcement. At the end of this coming week, break will occur for a week, but even though we're on break, we will have Sunday Vespers here next Sunday and the following Sunday, and we will also have Stations of the Cross this coming Friday, as well as during the Friday of break week. So hopefully you'll be able to uh, come together, if you're not on break traveling, to come here to the Basilica to pray together. Thank you. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. We turn now to the most blessed and glorious Virgin Mary, the patroness of this university. Ave Regina Celorum. Ave 